Hey guys, and thank you for joining us here. We are really thrilled to be joined by one of the stars of the upcoming Hitman, Agent 47, Han Aware. Now, of course, we had Adrian uh, uh, Ascaria. We gave his yeah. French pronunciation the other day, and he got all upset. Wow. Uh, we had Adrian in here the other day. He's, we called him Ascaria to make him sound Sounds funny. Great. Great. But, you know, I am so surprised by the looks of this film so far. Because, you know, for a long time, we've always said here, around here that there are three inescapable truths in life. Uh, death, taxes, video game movies suck. <laughs> and we've had this hope coming on for a while because we've heard a lot of profile about, you know, whether it's Warcraft or Assassin's God, Creed. Death, taxes, video games suck. Yes, yeah, the three inescapable truths in life. But now, all of a sudden, Hitman Age 47 comes out. We've been talking on the show a lot lately about the trailers start coming out. It's like, you know what? This looks really good. This looks fun. And then the last trailer just came out and we were like, okay, we're all on board. This looks like a lot of fun. What was it like for you stepping into this genre? So what was it like for me to do my first big Yeah, just stepping into a genre like, 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 like studio action film, video game film, yeah. Um, well, there's lots of different elements that I've never done. I've never been a lead of a big studio movie, so that was that. And then, then doing a very physical role, which is the action element. Um, and then the video game world and that whole kind of realm was um fascinating as well i don't know there was lots of things that were very new to me and it was all really exciting and um brilliant i really enjoyed all of it now i get really excited when i see films because what is a long-standing tradition in hollywood is in an action film there's a damsel in distress and i get really excited when i see a film that turns that on its head a little so bit. So do I. And it's great, when we've seen this trailer, we see this progression just in the trailer that you appear at first to be this damsel in stress. Turns out you're a, you know, a hardcore badass in this movie. Tell us a little bit about your character Katya in this film. Katya, but when I first read um, the part, that's that's you summed it up very well. Um, she isn't a damsel in, dis in distress. I actually never saw her as a damsel in distress from the beginning. I saw her as, um, she could have been a boy or a girl, just someone quite lost looking for a way to feel more at ease with herself and find her place in the world. And she goes on this kind of crazy journey with Agent 47 and it becomes uh, known that she has her own abilities and great strengths and fighting power. Um, so she is definitely not a damsel in distress by any means. And it's exciting to play with the boys. And, and as a female and an actress, you you want to do roles which uh, you can identify with because, <laughs> believe it or not, lots of us don't feel like we're damsels in distress <laughs> like in 2015. So um, it's, it's exciting and great. And you, what there needs to be more. One of the neat things that we learned from the trailer is that, at least from appearances and looking at all the promotion material, she is really the centerpiece of the film. Because what we have is we have, at least apparently, we have these two opposing forces. We have Rupert Friend, we have uh, Zachary Quinto on the other end, and you seem to be like what it is that everybody seems to be after, that everybody wants for their own purposes and their own needs. Right. And you get to work with these two very different guys in Rupert Friend, and, and Zach is just one of my favorite guys in the business. Talk about working with these two guys. Uh, it was thrilling on so many levels. Uh, Zach and I knew each other vaguely and then we became very, very good friends. And he taught me the ropes because, of course, you know, he's been doing Star Trek and right. he's Spock. And um, <laughs> he's a wonderful actor. He's a brilliant stage actor and he's just a lovely person and he's just gr great fun. Um, so I formed this really lovely bond with Zach and then Rupert I'm such a fan of Homeland and mm. I think Quinn's such a wonderful anti-hero almost um and so I was at all like you know I was in awe of working with someone like him and Homeland's one of those shows that I watch I, I call it a Homeland hangover <laughs> you know when it was on every Sunday right uh, the next day Monday's always very colored by what went on in Homeland the night before. Um, are you a big Homeland fan? I've watched just about every episode, yes. Oh, it's so good. It's one of those binge watch shows that, you know, I, I didn't watch it for the longest time and some friends of mine started telling me about it. So I put on one. You and can't then like, put on Okay, one. I'll just watch one more. Okay, I'll just watch one more. You've and before you to. know it's 3 a.m. <laughs> but it's such a it's such a good time. Well spent. But when you watch the trailer, you get this sense that, that I walked away, and this is what excited me, just, it, there's a there's a sense of high octane energy 
in these trailers. Like there's just, we're, we see some things in the trailers that I've never seen in action films before. Some really cool, neat stuff, including that whole sequence where you're tied up in the red ropes and you know it looks like there's an instantly physical challenges going on yeah. right there. What can audiences expect when they walk in to watch Hitman Agent 47? Um, I think the trailer gives you a little taster, but it's fast, high octane, um, exciting action. And I, I'm not someone who's a real action fanatic. I don't go and watch every action film and geek out over it. But um, I have to say, I do enjoy an action film. And, well, I am going to say this because I'm in it. But um, <laughs> You're allowed. It, it's co- it's co- there's something sleek and exciting and it's intelligent action, which is great about Agent 47. It's really intelligent. So I think you can anyone can get a kick out of it. Um, so there's, I mean, there's lots of surprises as well. Um, what would so. be one thing you think you learned about yourself as a performer, having gone through now and shot a film like this? Oh, so many things. <laughs> um, so many things I learned. Um, I, um, I have to be, you have to be quite resilient. And there are points at the beginning. I always think it's early on where you think I can't do this. It's, I'm not getting better at it. And there's, I think this is uh, true for lots of things, including acting. If you, it's an ongoing, it's an ongoing journey and you're always getting better. Like anything, if you play the violin, I suppose you can always perfect mm. or in anything you do. So um, doing something very new to me and something that I was not, um, experienced in and it was incredibly alien learning action and fighting combat at the very early stages you i think you it's common to have that thing where you're like i'm just not this is i can't where are the results it's, mm, right. and you have to tune that bit of your brain out and just stop monitoring if you're doing better and just keep doing it and just hope you get better but just you can't keep doing that obsessive monitoring because it doesn't really help you. You've just got to throw yourself into it and really be focused. And I think that that's a, a great um, a great skill to have in life, really. I'm still working on that one, but I'm <laughs> a bit better at it. Well, listen, congratulations on the movie. It looks like you're fantastic in it. We're really excited to oh, see good. it. And we're just once again, don't forget, guys, Hitman Agent 47 opens in theaters everywhere on August 21st. Make sure you can jump online and find and buy your tickets now. Hannah, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you. Thanks for having me.